Hey guys, this is Felix, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create logic expressions from a truth table, and we're going to be building the truth table from the state diagram. So, uh, first things first, you're going to have your inputs, and then you're going to have your outputs, and I have this in a Excel spreadsheet. Your inputs are going to be your current state, and we have two bits for our current state, so there are those two bits. And then the only other input that we have for this specific state machine that we're building is a reset button. So then that can be our third input bit. And then we've got an output for our three different LEDs, and we have our two bits for the next state that go out as well. So for inputs, you've got your normal inputs and your current state, and then outputs are your regular outputs and your next state. So now we just go through and start populating this. So uh, for state 0, 0, we'll start out with, if the reset button is not pressed, then none of the LEDs are going to be on, and we want to remain at state 0. The only time we want to go to state 1 is if we're at state 0 and we press the reset button. So if we're at state 0, 0, and we do press the reset button, then LED 1 should turn on, the others should be off, and it should send us to the next state of 0, 1. Now, if we're at state 0, 1, and it's off, the reset is off, then we want to hold that LED on and turn those off. And then we're going to hold at state 0, 1. But if we're at state 0, 1, and we do press the reset button, then turn off LED 1, turn on LED 2, 3 stays off, and now we want to bump up to state 1, 0, because that's next in our sequence. Now suppose we're in state 1, 0, and so we just, we go down this whole list. I'm not going to do the entire thing on here, I'll just finish it up and then come back. Alright, I've got it finished up, I just went through the end, and then when I got to the last row, we've got state 1, 1, reset button is 1, and we want that to go back to no LEDs on, state 0, 0, and that'll finish the loop. So now that we've got our truth table built, we want to generate logic expressions from that. You can either do that manually with the sum of products form, or you can use a program to generate a simplified equation for you, which is definitely what I prefer. So I have a program called Logisim, which is a free program that you can get if you just Google Logisim like this. It'll come up, you can download it, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And without going into super much detail about this program right now, that'll be in another video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know and I can set up a tutorial for Logisim. But for now, we're just going to head over to Window and Combinational Analysis. And I want my sheet here. So for our inputs, we've got our current state 1, bit 1, and we've got current state bit 0, and reset. For outputs, L1, oops, L2, L3, next state 1, and next state 0. And now you can see it's given us this table, and 
all of these values are populated with their incrementing, just counting straight up until they're all ones, which is the same that I have set up my truth table here in Excel. Now, if you haven't created it in counting order, then what you can do is go into sort, and I'm actually not using Excel, but it's a very similar process in Excel. You can go to sort and then choose sort first by column A, then by column B, then by column C, because those are my those are my three columns. And when you do that, it'll sort kind of like this in binary counting order, all the zeros first and then all the ones. So that can be a very helpful way to get all of this organized. But once you have it organized, and this is something that I absolutely love about this Logistim program, you can actually paste truth table values into it. I've used Multisim before, and it will not let you do that. And in fact, it will only let you enter in your output values for a single output. It doesn't do like a entire table like this, which kind of is, uh, I'm surprised for how expensive that program is, but this free program will do it, and you can even copy and paste, so I'll just copy here, and then click and drag on here, and we can paste it in, boom, truth table is done. We can head over to the Expression tab next, and there it is. This will give us, for LED1, our truth table expression. And we can just select from the drop-down of all of our outputs and get each equation. So there's LED1, 2, 3, and then our equations for the next states. Cool. So... Now that we've got our logic expressions, we are ready to punch them into a Verilog program to actually build this state machine. So stay tuned in the next tutorial and we will code it.